Welcome to this Unity quick hit tutorial where we're going to be building a 3D world in Unity in just 5 minutes. Hey guys, today we're going to be building a 3D world in Unity from complete scratch and the goal is going to be to do this in less than 5 minutes and show you all the tips and tricks involved in building that 3D world. If you guys like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. We're going to be releasing these quick hits um, every week from now on. So uh, with that said, let's get into it. Let's open up a new 3D project and call it Beautiful 3D World. I'm going to start by just switching real quick to this 2x3 layout. I kind of prefer it. Now let's download the 3 assets listed in the description below which are low poly nature pack fantasy skybox free and unity's modular first person controller let's start adding to our scene first create a new 3d terrain object and choose terrain next delete the main camera and let's add in our modular first person controller prefab to the scene let's center the first person controller in the middle of our terrain by uh, clicking the move tool and then dragging along the player axes Okay, let's just test out the player controller real quick. Press the play button, make sure you can move around on the empty terrain. Alright, let's start out by adding some height data to the terrain. Click on your terrain game object, click on uh, the paint terrain in the inspector, and then choose rain, raise or lower terrain from the dropdown. Let's choose this brush with a bit of noise, then turn up the brush size to about 400 or so to get a course pass at this terrain. Okay, now I'm just going to turn down the brush size to, you know, maybe about 200 and paint and a few smaller details into the terrain. It's time to get rid of this painful checkered texture finally. Switch to the paint texture under the drop down, click edit terrain layers, add layer, and choose this green texture called ground layer. Um, let's add in some real grass now. So let's go to the inspector, go to the paint details, click edit details, and add grass texture. Okay, click on Detail Texture and search for Grass. I like the PT Grass O2 texture. Now, this is really important to making your scene look good. We're going to use the eyedropper to choose the healthy color. Um, I like to sample kind of like the lighter parts of the base texture. Then for the dry color, we can sample a dark part of the base texture. Now select a brush, turn it up to max, and head into your scene to start painting around your first person controller. You'll notice here that even though I'm painting the hillside in the view of the player, we're not seeing the grass there. This is because we need to turn up the detail distance in the terrain settings. So now that we have that set to 250, we can see the grass from a lot further away. Next we can add a few effects into the scene. Let's go to Window, Rendering, Lighting, and then move this above the inspector. Go to the Environment tab, click on the Skybox material, and search for PT Skybox Matte. Alright, you'll notice that in the distance, we still aren't rendering out that grass detail. We can make the scene look a lot better by just adding some fog here, which will help obscure this and make the scene look more realistic. Check fog in the environment, then we're going to use the sampling trick again to keep our scene kind of cohesive. Click the, the color sampler and then click low in the skybox on the horizon. And now you'll see that our fog kind of matches up with the skybox and it fades into it nicely. You can play around with the density a little bit, I like somewhere around 0.0045. Next we're going to add some trees, click on your terrain, navigate back to the inspector, click on the paint trees tab, then edit trees and add tree. We can start with the PT pine tree 03. Now we're going to use this really convenient feature built into Unity called mass place trees. I'm going to just place about 15,000 trees on our entire terrain. Okay, you can see in the scene view that only the trees that are really close by to our player are actually rendering. We can change this in the terrain settings. So if you navigate to terrain settings, we can turn up the tree distance. Alright, so you know these trees look great and all, but they don't really match the grass environment that we've set up. So let's go through a quick trick to create a more cohesive scene. Double click on the tree in the terrain and we can navigate to its prefabs easily in the assets. Navigate to the bottom of the inspector where the first shader shows up. Use the color picker here and um, you know click on maybe some of the light part of the grass in the foreground. Um, and then for the ground color in the shader, choose some grass in the shadows. I find this works pretty well. To register this change uh, to the terrain, we can just go back to the trees and the terrain in the inspector and then just double click the tree. Now our trees are, you know, wow, they're, they're fitting in a lot better. All right, we're almost done. We're just going to make a few quick edits to polish up the scene and increase our performance. So let's change the minimum width and height of the grass to 0.5 and then the max to 1. The grass was just a little bit too big and too tall. Um, you also notice, like, uh, I'm kind of lagging a lot right here. So let's fix that. 
go to the terrain settings, um, turn down your, your details distance to around 140 or so. I find that works pretty good. Um, and then your tree distance can come down to about 300. All right, let's, let's finalize the scene out, add in some new objects. I'm going to add like a tree stump, some mushrooms and poppies here. I'm also going to add this rock. So I'm just going to quickly paint on a, a few of these rocks here. Maybe we can do just one like finishing touch to kind of really pull this together. We'll add in this like Stonehenge looking prefab from our assets. Um, we can just pull this directly on the scene. All right, so we are done, you guys. Let's have a stroll around the new world. And here is our finished scene. All right, so that is it. We made it in just under five minutes. If you guys had any troubles, make sure to leave a comment below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. In addition to that, you can always join the Discord. I'm pretty active there. Until next time, you guys, peace.